Well, happening now, the Indiana State Fair is heading strong into its third weekend. Great weather could mean even greater crowds. Debbie and Chris join us live now from the fairgrounds. And how's it going out there tonight? It is going really well. Yes, it is. In fact, yeah, you can tell us who's <laughs> tuning up. And who's, who's the band, Chris? It's the Jay Baker Trio, country band, local artists. They do a wonderful job. If you want to come out here, some great country music tonight. The Indiana State Fairgrounds is the place to be. Yeah, you you know this band. Oh yes, I do. And I know that Casey and the Sunshine Band is going to oh, be yeah. here at seven thirty. So a lot of music going on. The crowds are great right now. But let's uh, let's go off to Max Lewis. He's kind of our roving reporter out oh, here. Yeah. And I know uh, he's checked into a lot of areas around the state fair. So, Max, tell us where you are right now and what's going on. Hey, Debbie and Chris. So I've actually gone back a few hundred years. I'm here in Pioneer Village, not too far from where you guys are. You can see they're doing some of these activities they would have been doing back in the day. They're cooking. You can get a whole bunch of stuff down here. There's lemonade, there's maple syrup and everything. But I actually started my day earlier today at the Champions Pavilion. I got a look at one of the largest animals you can see here at the State Fair. These are basically known as the Budweiser horses, which a lot of people know them as. The Clydesdales are one of the largest horses on earth, and teams from across the country are getting them ready to compete in competitions today and tomorrow. One of the biggest tasks is keeping them looking good. We just try to keep them to grow their hair, keep it soft, um, so there's a lot of maintenance in that part. Stacy Schramm from Greenwood Farms, just north of Detroit, said she and the horses are happy to be back doing what they love. It's really, really good to be back out in front of the people and get the horses out. These guys love it, and especially when they're out in the ring and the crowds get excited. These guys just get more and more pumped and they just they love it. And if animals aren't your thing, don't worry. There's plenty of other fair favorites. It's fun. Yeah. I, I'm an it's infectious. Right, right. I'm enjoying it in the arts building. You can get some shopping done and find just about anything. You can get honey and you can get a t-shirt at the same time. You might also stop by this giant cheese sculpture that pays homage to the racing capital of the world. That might have you start thinking about food. I had my eye on the State Fair charcuterie board and just had to give it a try. How many calories do you know that answer? Oh, I don't have that much for it. Too many? It's the fair in a box with funnel cakes, caramel corn, cotton candy, but my favorite was those mini corn dogs. Others went with the State Fair Bloody Mary and the other delicious treats. I don't know, we just thought we'd try it. It might be my favorite thing. Oh, we got deep fried Oreos. You guys are going to be up until next week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's so much food out here. I couldn't even cover all of the food options. Pioneer cooking. I mean, they just got so much stuff out here. Now, the Clydesdales, I want to get back to those because that was really cool. They're going to have shows tonight at 6. Those are also going to be tomorrow at 6. So if you don't get out tonight, you can do it tomorrow. Um, also, tomorrow, there's some other cool events. The big one is the biggest vegetable contest. That's going to be over the agriculture building. That one looked pretty cool. So, so much to do out here, you guys, and, and so much to eat. And we'll be getting to that later, I'm sure. Debbie and Chris, we'll send it back to you. <laughs> I know. Oh, I enjoy like yourself, that. Max. Yeah. State Fair Charcuterie Board. I yes, like that. It's yeah. all very cool. Absolutely. No calories. Not yeah, at all. No, no, no. Hey, no. what does the weather look like for the rest of the night? If it's going to be here? great for the rest of the night. If you haven't been out to the fairgrounds because of the heat and humidity so far, this uh, run of the fair, that's not going to be an excuse for you this night or really this weekend. We're going to keep the temperature in the 60s on through the evening hours and stay with clear skies, not expecting any rainfall tonight. Boy, that sounds great. Yes, it does. This is the night to go. Mm -hmm. The humidity is great. It's wonderful. We are sitting in front of the Ball State Ferris wheel, by the yep. way. And of course, there's food in front of us. Oh, yeah. We'll be joining Max for dinner <laughs> probably right after the newscast. But it is, it's been a great night so far. We have a, a very interesting guest, but you can't see him yet. Yeah. We're going to tease this. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, we're going to bring a little animal into the, into the He's shot. He's kind of cool, yeah. He is pretty cool. Yeah. So we'll bring you more in just a few minutes. Back to you in the studio.